All right, well, we've been given our first start. We're tabbed to start against the team that eliminated us in a reverse sweep in the playoffs, the Calgary Flames. And yes, that is a new set of pads we've got on. If uh, I put it in the editing, it should have been at the beginning of this video where we were editing the pads uh, to begin this season. And we're in Bauer Hyperlights now, so looking pretty sick. Doesn't look so great with the gold jersey, but that's aside from the point. All right, well, back inside the fortress for the start of a brand new season. And it seems like there's a glitch with the first game of the season with the pads. I got mine fixed before the season started. A 7 13 and 1 record, that's career wise. Uh, so that's how many games we played last year. Markstrom is 1 0 0 on the season with a 9 35. Let's just try to pick up where we left off to end last year. The puck is down for the first game of a brand new season, season number two of the career. And I should mention that, again, if I didn't put it in the edit, uh, both Stahl brothers, Eric and Jordan, have been reunited here in Vegas. Yes, very weird indeed. Uh, oh, just wide, I wasn't ready for that. Petrangelo will shoot Markstrom, glove saved. Philip Forsberg, he missed the blocker side there. First shot of the new season. We're on our butt. We make the pad save. Well, we're tested for the first time. Of course, it looked like that was not going to be on net. But either way, it ended up being because we made a save. And we are one for one to open the new season. Pavelski, glove save. Flashing leather. The new golden leather. Oh, a save on Anderson. And a whistle. Cuts back. Shoots low pad rebound. And Markstrom will just cover up the loose puck in the crease. Gains the red line. He gains pretty easy. A nice anticipating save on Kachuk as we slide across. And then, oh, a great turnover by Marchessault, so, but he handed it right back to Hannafin. And they can't get anything to work with it. We got lucky because that was a turnover in the near turnover in the dead slot. Now, a shot in this faceoff circle. Pretty relatively routine looking save, but he makes a second one, a third one. Great saves by Markstrom on that end. Carlson trying to create something himself. First man to it. Back door. And Perron has the first of the season for the Golden Knights. We take a one to nothing lead. Or actually, it is not the first of the season. I take that back because we didn't start game one. So, um, or game two. I don't think we started the first two games of the season. But Perron has a goal. It's his second of the season. And we open up the scoring in this game at least so although it may not be the team's first game of the season it is our first game starting of the season and hopefully we can take over that starters position but we're going to really have to play hard to do that wing if Hamilton can keep him outside I like it those hyper light pads doing work early in this game hands for Forsberg a shot turned aside and we're doing a good job of just staying calm Good job aggressively on Pavelski by Stahl. He's... Oh, what in the world? It's like he got turbo boosted. <laughs> Joe Pavelski. Very strange. Rung iron. Oh, thank you so much. And you're going to see Forsberg just absolutely cling the red iron right behind me. You don't really see it there, but that was very close. By the Knights. Oh, great defensive play by Valimaki. Prevented a goal with that single-handedly. Valimaki to Monahan off the mask, but we turn it aside. One more try. Stone a couple of times. Oh, there was a possible goal there, but we ran out of time. So here for the second period here of our first start of the season, and the shots are a little bit lopsided, 17-7 in favor of the Golden Knights. Uh, so the slider changes haven't had enough of an impact, obviously. That would be me. It's going to come down all the way this way. I got it. And let's see, I'm going to try to chip it off the glass and at least we get it out past the blue line. And Pavelski, oh, tough job, but we stayed with it. We got the defenseman to help us out with the rebound. Well, the Flames are right back in after it. Oh, a great setup, good passing, but Markstrom has it. But that way, Raquel, a glove save that we couldn't initially handle, but we ended up getting it anyway and taking a whistle. And I guess Rasmus Anderson was injured off that shot block. You see him wincing there after the fact, and he's going down the tunnel. So not a good sign for the Calgary Flames. They'll be down a defenseman. Oh, Nurse needed to move that. That's not a good play. And a penalty, though, 
is going to come after that. It's interference, a pretty obvious call, as he just he, he just didn't give up at all. Instead of going for a loose puck, he just kept pushing Nurse, who did not have any possession of it. Now, Zidane Chara, who's joined the Flames, and that's cleared by Sezik as the full length. We don't have it. Okay. Back down. Oh, I got it. Gonna flip it up. Not playing any games with that one. It won't quite get there, but it'll get to me. And I have it. I'll rim it off the glass and out. Stone has it there waiting for me. And he hands it off for Pacioretty, who shoots back against the grain. Chara tries to flip it out. We're gonna get there. And I see some guys in the neutral zone, but I, I way missed it. Here comes Lindholm. He dishes to Monaghan. We turn it away on the transition play. He's gonna shoot and we'll just stick it aside into the corner. After the blue line and a weird flip over the net as it deflected. He's in, he cut, stride cut, and a glove save. The rebound kicked back out though. Oh my, I don't know where it is. Gosh dang it. Oh, Pavelski, and that'll be a glove save and a whistle. Stall hands for Pacioretty, he shoots another low one on Markstrom. We're gonna try to score five hole on this guy tonight. Great feed up top, low to high. Hannafin back door, they score. And the shutout is gone. That was a good feed for Raquel. I still had to respect the back door pass, but I knew that they were, or the, rather, I had to respect the short side shot, but I knew the back door pass was an availability. Uh, gotta get a little more help than that from Theodore. I actually don't think we were that far off from actually sliding across and taking it away. This might show you even better how close we were. Oh, yeah. Oh, we were definitely almost there. So give us a lot of credit. Our anticipation is a lot better this season. And so it seems with 28 seconds left in the second period, the first career shutout is going to have to wait. It's been broken by Raquel and the Flames. Stone going wide in the dying seconds. Hannafin has it. I don't think the Flames will get another shot on that unless it's from way out there. And it's blocked away. Once we entered the third and final period of play in our first start of season two, uh, we are being out. We are out shooting the Flames rather by double nearly. It's like 31 to 17 at the end of two periods. So Markstrom being far more tested, but the saves have been relatively simple. Raquel, and we'll just cover that. Don't play any games with it. For Theodore shooting through traffic, that is available. Oh. I wish Stone could have done a little bit more with the rebound chance he had. And a shot from a tricky angle. It's going to create a really good rebound, but we had a defenseman to help us out. Oh, it's right there. Here you go. Here you go, Petrangelo. And I'm going to be able to get to this first. I'm going to go off the glass now. Ooh. Okay. I That was very risky. Always anticipate the pass. Mon oh, I was off angle. I know what I did there. I was off angle. That's one that is okay to give up last season, but I shouldn't have given it up this season. I'm going to feel bad about that one. It's been tough because it's actually been a really good game by myself. I just... Mm, just was not over enough to that. I, I didn't play the angle correctly on that. I needed to be over to the left just a touch. Oh, it went out the other side of the crease. Nope, not today, sir. We stopped Kachuk on that close chance. He's in all wide. Good drag shot, but it doesn't hit the net. Now, Forsberg. Ooh, good play to try to get it back on that short side, but I'm going to cover it as it banked off the inboards. I'm going to be a little bit restless in this crease probably for the rest of this game. Tanov over the net. The body, a good save on Lindholm. We'll play it quickly, try to get that offense going the other way. Regains it after losing it, and he spins away from the Vegas player, and he's going to just take it all the way in. Excuse me? How does that go in? Oh my... You gotta be freaking kidding me. He banked that post in and I just... I, I remember we played a game against Calgary last year in Season 1. And it was just... We were playing well until the end of the game. And we just blew it at the end of the game. And this has the same vibes. Oh, we got a piece of that one off Raquel. Here comes Matthew Kachuk. Sticked away. Good save on Kachuk. Whew. That even had the guy in the game falling over on that backdoor play. Oh, he tried. I know what he was trying to do. 
We're going. Extra man on. Hurry. Hustle. Oh, who's going to get to it first in that corner? And no, he misses it wide. Get to it, Hamilton. 31 seconds. Probably not tying this game, but you never know. Raquel, who buries the empty netter. He has his second of the game. And it was already over, so not even a necessary goal. Well, a tough game to drop. We looked like we could be perfect for a while there, but we ended up giving up three in this game after a couple of tough ones got past us. But I would grade that as an okay performance. Not great, but not bad. I mean, way better than a lot of the performances from the first half of Season 1. This is the toughest one that got past us. All right, well, we're back from the game against Calgary, and we had an 8-8-4 save percentage, which it could have been so much better but i mean we saw 26 shots we let three passes it's not awful um i think we're gonna have a much better season two here and the career save percentage numbers are just gonna keep going up if we can keep those numbers but i think an average of above just above 900 is a really good number to shoot for and i mean we didn't play that terrible the savard goal was just the unlucky bounce is it hit the pad and then bounce off the post and in. I mean, it's we had the short side covered really well on that initial stop, so just is what it is, man. We need to talk about how you've been playing. I haven't been playing. That's the thing. You haven't been meeting expectations. We need you to pick it up. I played one game. Uh, I guess I have no choice but to promise. Okay, I need to... I need to win two of the next four games, but I'm not being given a start so I can win a game. Make it make sense. I'm gonna, if they don't start me this whole season, I'm gonna ask for a freaking trade. Sim the game. <laughs> what is going on? I have sat for a straight month. I have sat for a straight up mo Oh, we're playing against Winnipeg. Oh my sweet lord, finally. <laughs> it's been like a month. I'm not even kidding. Look at this. Look at the calendar. Look at the calendar. This is our current next game at Winnipeg on November 13th. Our last start, I kid you not, I think it was Anaheim on opening night. Was it not Anaheim on opening night? Look at all these games we were on the bench for as a backup. I kid you not. Look, Laner started all of these games. Every single one of them. From Detroit here, he started that game all the way back to Edmonton. Look at how many games in a row they... I mean, to be fair, there's some days off here, but jeez, there's some back-to-backs you could have put me in there for. Very interesting. Well, here we are at the Canada Life Center. Uh, an arena I've actually been to in real life, but the last time I was here, it was the MTS Center or something like that the last time I was there. We roll into this with only one game under our belt on the season, and we are a month deep in season number two as a be a pro it's kind of wild kind of insane that we haven't actually been given but one start and laner started all those games in a row but we're finally getting some playing time and it comes in winnipeg all right mark shifley how much longer is he going to be a winnipeg jet do we think oh okay a nice save on connor be weary of any passing options that's wide by pionk so I'm going to try to cut some of these videos. This is not going to be in the actual video unless we score here. Um, but I'm trying to cut some of these videos so it's mostly just my saves and my action and my end of the end of the deal instead of so much of the Vegas offense. And that may have already been the case by the time, you know, the episodes are uploaded. Uh, a pull-up shot. Okay, we really awkwardly bodied that down off of Shifley and now it rolls the others. Okay, well, I guess Corey Perry is a Winnipeg Jet, man. That guy has been all over the league lately by Morrissey, but we are going to get a penalty. It's going to be interference to Corey Perry, the man we were just talking about. Uh, he goes to the box for interference. You can see it on Jordan Stahl. And, uh, well, that's going to put us on the power play. Oh, uh, okay. Carlson turn around Stone try, and he gets it the second time's the charm as... Carlson, or uh, sorry, Stone banks home his own rebound. Carlson had the initial try. And that was a bit chaotic. There it is. Rebound. Oh. I'm trying to see if there's anything Hellebuck could have done differently there to prevent that from ending up in the back of his own net. But I'm not going to complain about it. It obviously gives us a lead. March is so. That backhander 
Didn't have a whole lot on it, but the glove save ended up out the center. Make that make sense. Lighting to it. I don't... Oh my god, that was terrible. Get out of here, Luff. Oh my god. I... I, I know what I did. Okay, I came off my angle, number one. Also, number two, I dropped early. He didn't even shoot. Let's see how I'm already down. But I also don't know what I'm doing shading so far over to the short side. Um, well, that was... I made that easy. Way too easy. You see, I'm trying to recover from... I don't... I don't know why I went down. I really... I don't know why I went down and I can't explain it. I mean, the number one rule as a goalie is do not make the first move. Let the shooter make the first move. And I didn't even wait for the shooter to shoot. So, you see, we just want to stay here, shade a little bit, and a good save. We bounce back, but Lowry, we're going to challenge him. Oh, we're going to challenge him. Oh, look at the glove! Uh, almost a windmill, a half windmill for Flair. Oh, oh, God, a big save on wheels, and then we will freeze it up. Where is the penalty, though? Uh, what? I'm sorry, I didn't see a slash there. I don't know what the ref is looking at. Uh, stolen, just like taking candy from a baby, that steal. That was beautiful. Probably shoot. He will shoot. We make a stand-up leg pad save. And why are you skating backwards, Darnell Nurse? Corey Perry. Oh, he's ripping one. But we handle that like a piece of cake. And that is going to do it for the Winnipeg Power Play. And hand for Corey. Perry. Oh, my God. I, d <laughs> I was not. I was gonna go down in the butterfly, and then he just reached out to play it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Made the first move, but I made the save as well. Look for it. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to play this. Off the glass and out. Be safe with it. Ehlers, no, no, not today. Not even after the whistle or the, or the horn, rather. All right, so 16 to nine is actually a pretty favorable. That's pretty fair. It's pretty fair. We're back for the second period, and uh, shots were 16-9 to nine in favor, obviously, of Vegas. But a pretty good period, all things considered. Lots of action on both ends. And here comes Ehlers. He gets to the middle. And now Kyle Connor wide. Here, here, you got it. You got it. Oh, he doesn't have it. Stone, inside, outside, inside, outside. A couple of times, then full Hellebuck. Defenders around him. Oh, the rebound, and that's Marcus. So he's gonna score off of his own rebound. You see, Stone draws the attention of two defensemen, and doesn't actually allow a single one of them to get to Marcus so to prevent that chance or the rebound. I mean, whoever, whoever that is on this side, just behind Marcus so right there, he did not pick up that rebound easily prevented that lady sit down oh no she's a she's a she's a vegas fan she can stand up all she wants oh yeah blockered way read through traffic perfectly carlson through center the wing to march so down low to perron and perron scores three to one vegas well vegas we've taken a three to one lead off of perron's goal that's very nice Look at Perron outwork Perry to that. Look at this work ethic. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Max Pacioretty, 4 to 1, Vegas. That was all Perron. You can't tell me that was not all David Perron. I mean, that you might as well give number 57 the goal. 57 does the work down low. 67 cashes in. And the Golden Knights have established a three goal lead. It's the, it's the four checking work of Perron on that one. Relentless, man. He avoids old Chirot or whoever that is. Here, here, here. You got it. Oh! Oh! No, Ehlers. You can't score on this. I don't know if I clipped the mic with my reaction to stopping Ehlers, but okay. The, the leather was beautiful. Push face off. Oh! Oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, at least we had the anticipation to perfectly read that. Go to the post that it ends up on. Ehlers. Oh! How did they miss? How did they not score? It was wide open. That'll be an instant replay as well. I'm trying to roll it forward. He does. Oh my god. I got so lucky because I was on the complete other side of the crease. And he rings it just off. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe it does just slightly change direct right there. Does it slightly change direction off the stick of... um? 
of Ehlers. Oh, I think it does right there. A ever so subtle change in direction. And then it just touches off the outside of the post and the net. I got very lucky. Jordan Stahl, isn't it? And Jordan Stahl scores! Hey, speak of his name. It's Jordan Stahl scoring. So we've, I forgot we have both Stahl brothers on this team. So Jordan wearing number 11, his typical number, and Eric wearing 22, doubling up Jordan's number. And Jordan Stahl scores five hole. Well, well, well that was five hole, right? Well, we're going to get an another look at it just to confirm. Uh, it's not a great view there, but... Oh, oh that's tough. That's tough. It, we made the great save. We needed to be a little calm. more A little more calm with our movement because the rebound kicked right back to Corey Perry. I mean, that's easy. I mean, you can see we made the great save, but our movement to recover was not fast enough. It... I'm not ashamed of that goal. I'm not happy with it, but I mean, fair play. Well, a little tough to give the rebound goal up. It would be nice to have the goal that we, the first one we gave up back, but it is what it is. Man, Vegas, we are trying some weird stuff out in front. There's a good one timer. It's Jordan Stahl. Oh, oh yes, perfect. And a penalty. That actually is how the lighting looks at that arena, at the arena right there. That's a great example of it. But anyway, uh, okay. Apparently that's interference. Uh, oh, yes. We showed him a little bit of that blocker side, and then we took it right back away. Uh, shy flee. Oh, my goodness. Cut off on that. Oh, poke checked away, but we get help. So we do see a bit of action in this period, but um, a little bit hectic, but not a terrible period by any means. Uh, the goal by Perry is fair enough. We just gotta hold the fort down for the final th uh, 20 minutes. All right, as we begin the third and final period of play, the last 20 minutes, shots are 33 to 18 in favor of the Golden Knights. So yeah, we continue to outshoot our opponents pretty heavily, and I, uh, I will mention I haven't tweaked those sliders. Ehlers to Connor. We anticipate we'll just take a whistle. They win it back to Morrissey. Pionk. Oh, through the traffic, we make the blocker save. And then back to the point, man. It's Morrissey. He's walking in. Yeah, that'll be a save. A whistle. Too much space to be able to do that. Pionk. Oh, he rang metal. I got very lucky because he beat me on the glove. Perry wide. Ehlers to cop. I got it. Probably a shot on Shifley. Save. Oh, my God. That was dangerous. I shouldn't have done that. But uh, I might have gotten away with it for right now. To Pionk. I don't know why Pionk didn't just shoot that. Oh my god. That's why he didn't shoot it, because he knew that was going to happen. Goalie interference. <laughs> Can we challenge, please? I wasn't even like a fish out of water. I was just trying to get there, because I knew the rebound was right there. And I want to see this on the actual instant replay. And he kind of shovels that on the net. And I'm like, okay, well, I got to drop down in the butterfly and cover the lower part of the net. And we probably, you can tell that we barely get a toe to it. But it's like, okay, that's fair enough. But I'm just trying to get back so I can cover for the rebound. But as I do, and I'm sliding across, that push with the skate kicks the puck. And then the leg comes back and kicks it back in again. Oh! He shot it right into me. That's a lucky break. That available. Oh! I wasn't even paying any attention on that one. I lost the puck. I really did. It in Oh, that's why? It was an insta turnover. You freaking goofball! What are you doing handing it there? Who are you passing that to? I mean, what is he doing? A weak, soft backhander across the ice. Never pass it across the crease, especially when freaking Nick Ehlers is right here. Do you see where he is in relation to the net? Never do that. All right, good save on Cop. We needed that. We, I think we got a piece of that. We needed that one as well. This line has been absolute magic tonight, and they continue. Patch ready. I'm telling you, man, the line that Perron is on has been absolute magic. Even Houdini would be jealous. Look at that a rebound, man. It's been sloppy in front of that Winnipeg net the entire night. Hellebuck's had a tough go at it. And I'm probably going to laugh because the AI team is about to pull Hellebuck 
with the last two minutes left. No, no, actually, I take that back. They're going to keep him in. So, some intelligence for once. Oh, yes, baby! A big blocker save. I don't know how he didn't score, but that is a huge save. Dougie, you got to hit the net there, man. Oh, there it is. Marches so into the empty net. And that is officially going to end. I mean, it's, it was already over, but it's just nice to pat on the personal stats, isn't it? Oh! oh I felt that in my living room. To Connor, I did he hit the net on that? I don't know. And that's the game. All right, back in the dressing room from a 7-4 win over the Winnipeg Jets in a, another high-scoring crazy affair. We saw 29 shots. Unfortunately for us, four got past us. I think about two of them you probably can't really, really fault me on too much, especially the March is so turnover, the third goal by Ehlers. But we maintain our 8 6 and 8 6 2 save percentage, which is better than season one, I'll say that much at least, okay?